peace, peace, peace. This is your sales and marketing international expert, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock it with the best. You heard? Hello, hello, hello. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day today. Today we are going to talk about something very, very interesting. I think you guys will enjoy this topic. And if you're an entrepreneur, you will learn some strategies from this situation. So as you guys can see here, I did a screenshot of some Jay-Z and Beyonce on-the-run tickets. These are Jay-Z and Beyonce on-the-run tickets. They're supposed to be here in Chicago August 10th at Soldier Field, right? So, as you guys see them price tags, you're looking at $4,000 for a pair of tickets. How much? What? With the what? Four grand for a two-hour show. Holla at your boy and your girl, Beyonce. Kudos to them for doing that. Let me tell you something. Growing up in New York, there was a time you were able to go see Jay-Z, Nas, any of those guys for $20. $20, you could, $20, $25, you could get front row, stand standalone, of course, front row standing seats at the arena in Queens to see Jay-Z for 20 to 25 dollars today he doesn't sell his cheapest tickets are 79 dollars and of course you see here his highest tickets uh, and you know it's a combo show but is going for two grand a piece right so let's let's look at that let's look to see what's going on here when you are the only outfit in town, you're the only company that's offering a certain type of product and service, you can ask for premium prices like that. You can ask for premium prices like that. Now, many people want to get taught. Many people want to learn things. But if you can do it in a way that is entertaining, that is another way you can mark up your prices. People, okay, if you look at church, church goers, right? Church goers, the pastors that make the most money, listen closely, the Creflo Dollars, the, the T.D. Jakes, all those, you know, the Joel Osteens, those guys like that. The pastors that make the most money, are the most entertaining. They are the most entertaining, meaning they make learning fun. They're not dry. They're not extremely technical and direct. They can take a, a book about cheese and make it entertaining. If you're giving presentations out for your company or you're doing video marketing, or you're doing any type of showcasing for your products and services, don't make it dull and boring. Make it entertaining. Because if you can make it entertaining, you can ask for more money. Now, going back to the Jay-Z and Beyonce tickets, these tickets are going for $2,000 a piece. And the reason why I thought this would be a very good case study is because if you guys ever been to a concert um, where the highest ticket was like $10, $15, you're going to attract a certain type of clientele. It's not saying that it's good or bad, but it's just saying that you're going to attract a certain type of clientele, right? They might, They may start a fight. A couple of people might get shanked. Somebody might sneak in a tutu or a gun in, inside and start busting. Somebody might squeeze your girl's ass, you know, or 
as you're walking by trying to get to the bathroom, you're going to attract a certain caliber of people. Now, of course, you know, as the higher the price ranges go, you begin to disqualify certain people from buying your, your tickets or buying your product because you are at a higher margin. So when you're at a higher margin like that, what you're doing is you're disqualifying a lot of, I'll call it riffraffs, right? You're disqualifying riffraffs. You're only catering to a higher tier audience. People that's going to take your product and services way more serious. Now, again, the cheapest product, the cheapest ticket that the Jay-Z and Beyonce sells is $79. Now, if you want to get up close and personal, where you can see here, it says the runway VIP experience. They're, they're going to roll out the red carpet for these people. This is where somebody will sit down and talk to them and ask them, what made you buy these tickets today? Now, see, as I understand Live Nation and companies that sell high ticket items like this, right? They're going to question the people that are buying these tickets. The reason is they want more people like that. It's cool that they have the $79 ticket buyers. They're not turning them away, but eventually they will turn them away. Eventually, the cheapest tickets you'll be able to buy will be like Michael Jackson tickets. You're spending two, three hundred dollars for nosebleed. So they're going to question the people that are spending $2,000. Why did you buy these tickets? What made you buy these tickets? What are you looking to experience in, on this concert, on this tour? Because once they get that information, they'll be able to use the same type of wording, the same type of verbiage, the same type of experience, and even possibly grab a couple of videos and testimonials and put it on their website to attract other people to buy these high ticket items. Now ask yourself in your business, do you have products and services that aren't doing shit? Okay. I'm going to share something real important to you guys. So pay attention. Ask yourself, do you have any products that just aren't selling? They're not converting. They're not making any money for you, okay? And then ask yourself, can you combine that product that's not making any money for you with another product that is making some money to add more value? Does that make sense? Take the product, instead of eliminating, now, the, there's two ways to go about it. You can eliminate that product entirely, get it off your, your Rasta, right? And say, fuck it, it's not making any money. Let's get rid of it. Let's focus on the ones that are making us money. Or you can take that product that isn't making money, attach it to a product that is making money. You, you have now built value in that product. So, so. Let me explain. So it'll be like, okay, you could get a filet of fish sandwich or you can get the number seven where you can get French fries and a drink with that. Y'all follow me? That makes sense, my future moguls. Does that make sense? Take a product that isn't performing well, attach it with a product that is performing well, and make it a bundle deal, and now you can charge more. Because, again, I'm, we're, we're using this analogy of the Jay-Z and Beyonce ticket to help you understand how you can charge more for products you already have. Are they doing a different concert? No. 
are they going to perform different songs for the people that bought these $2,000 a piece tickets? No. Are they adding value to an already existing concert that they're going to do? Absolutely. What might they get? They might get some posters that have been lying around for a while. Right? They might have a quick meet and greet that they weren't going to do anyway. Right? You can do the same thing. You can do the same thing. If you can add value to your products and services simply by bundling them up together. So I hope this helps out, ladies and gentlemen. Just know that if you're not asking for premium prices, it's not because there aren't people willing to pay for it. It's really because you're scared. You don't think your products and services are worth it. It does make you self-analyze yourself to say, hey, Is this product really worth that price? Look, let me let me, let me share this with you. We'll let you know that you are in you're going in the right direction. If someone calls you about your products and services, right? And then you give them a high price. If you don't gulp, be like, oh shit. Like if you don't kind of crib it price, if you don't cringe a little bit after telling them that price you're not asking a high enough price. It should make you want to crawl back into a shell. Good afternoon, Daryl. What's up, Josh Sheeney? Shout out to all you guys tuning in, by the way. If it doesn't make you want to crawl back in your shell and be like, ooh, I, I feel guilty asking that type of price, you're not asking enough. That is like your spidey sense. That's like your superpower telling you, Whoa, dude, you're about to enter, exit your comfort zone. Pay attention to what's going on. Somebody calls you and then you tell them a high price, right? You give them a high price. If it doesn't make you cringe or a person says, what makes you think you can ask for a price like that? Or they start giving like, <laughs> they really challenge you or even curse you out. Then you're not asking enough. But if they do do that, if they do question you or kind of curse you out a little bit because they think that you're way too expensive, then you're moving in the right direction. All you have to do is tweak it a little bit. So peace, love, and happiness to all you guys. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Y'all heard?